and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye shall receive them, and ye shall have them. Philippians 2, 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let's praise the Lord for his word. And you may be seated in his presence. But tonight the message is, I changed my mind. All right. Preach the word. And if I had a subtopic, it would be think big and aim high. Now God's been sending us a word for the last past weeks about blessings and having plenty. But let me kind of go back and deviate a little bit. For the enemy have been sending distractions to overtake our thoughts with other things. We know the world is dealing with what some seem to be a plague called the coronavirus. The doctors are scrambling trying to find a way to stop the spread of this deadly virus. But not once have I heard anybody get up on television and say, somebody pray. For the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 7, 14, if my people, which are called by my name, to humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Heal their land. Thanks, it's time to pray. You know, all things do work together for our goodness. Now, how many of you know that uh, on this week, St. Paul Public School teachers, we were on a strike. And I just felt so blessed because I didn't have to get out and march with everybody. All right. I got to work with the big wigs. <laughs> I was up in this main union office All right. with the organizers, people from California, North Dakota, Atlanta, Chicago. People were just coming from everywhere supporting because they were used to this. And so I was just sitting there, I was listening, observing, and they were just casually talking and planning and saying how things was going on the strike and everybody said something, a little bad word come out their mouth and God just dropped this a uh, word in my heart about ungodly counsel. I'm like, Lord, this is bad that nobody in here saved that's organizing this. Because I was just an observer. And I said, ungodly counsel. But I'm going to tell you how all things works together for good. All right. The superintendent was all standing there. You could see the spirit of stubbornness in him. They want to give up. They want to give in. And Sister Phyllis said, Pharaoh's spirit. Just like Pharaoh. I said, yep. You could look all through him. Me and other ladies said, ooh, y'all superintendent is stubborn. But I tell you, God is good. Thank you for the virus. He got so scared they gave us everything we wanted. I said, look at that. I'm telling God to use whatever. And it'll work for your good. I said, because I just want to be back on payroll. Now they can dismiss school. I don't care. That'll be for my good. I'll just go home and get a little rest. So I'm like, okay, y'all keep panicking, closing up everything. I said, I guarantee you on Sunday you may get a seat at a cracker barrel. <laughs> I got my coupons. But you know you get tired of waiting. So people stay at home and we can get a chance to eat without waiting. See, God is good. It's for you good. God is awesome, God. 
So back to the message on tonight. I changed my mind. Now in my research, I read that as we think, we change the physical nature of our brain. All right. And as we consciously direct our thinking, we can wire out toxic patterns of thinking yes. and replace them with healthy thoughts. Right. Your thoughts become words. Your words become action. Yes. Your action becomes habits. Your habits become character. Your character becomes your destiny. The thing you constantly think about is what will eventually become. Yes. It's time to change your mind. Stop thinking too low. Think big and aim high. Because you are a king's kid. It's time to be weaned from milk. It's time to be faithful. For Isaiah 55 and 6 says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Think about who you are and whose you are. It's time to change your mind. Right. It's time to change your way of thinking in every area of your life. Stop thinking and saying it is what it is. No, it isn't what it is. It's what God says it is. Right. For he can cause those things that be not as though they were. For we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. We can have whatsoever we say according to his will. It's time to think big and aim high. I remember Clark's sister saying the sky is the limit of what we can have. It's time to grow up saints and become the sons and daughters that God want us to be. It's time to get a new mindset. Don't just say you are more than a conqueror. Go out and conquer. Right. I was thinking about how the first lady still have to come up with strategies to encourage the saints of God to come to Bible school. How can we become the church God ordained us to be when we need to get some incentive to come to Bible school? Just to get our soul fed. Lord help us. Where are the people mind? Our soul should be hungry and thirst after the word of God. We should become hungry for the things of God. It's time for a mind change. What do you mean, evangelists? Some of us have been beaten down by society and even by those around us until we began to think that it is, this is the way it is. Some people think that they are supposed to suffer and not have. Well, I don't know about you, but the only suffering I want to do is suffering for the kingdom's sake. Yeah. But David declares, I was once old, young, but not old. Yeah. For I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed fed in bread. People of God, you can have what you say. Right. But we have power over all the power of the enemy. I'm going to think myself happy. It's all about what's in the mind. And I'm about to sit down in the next two minutes. But if you think something long enough, you will find yourself acting on it. The same way you can think negative, you can change your mind and begin to think positive. While I'm reminded of Saul in the Bible, before he got an experience with God. In his mind, he thought he was doing right by persecuting the saints of God. But oh, one day on the road to 
to Damascus. God knocked him off for his donkey. And he says, Saul, Saul, why art thou persecuted me? And Saul said, Who art thou, Lord, that thou persecute? All right. He said, I am Jesus. Don't you know it's hard to kick against the brick? I'm talking about a mind change. See, he thought what he was doing was good. But when God turned him loose, his mind got right. Because he gave his life unto God. And then I began to think about David. David thought being a king, he had a right to who he wanted to have. So he let his eyes deceive him. And he began to lust and decide that he had to have another man's wife. I'm just talking about your mind. The way you think you're right when you're wrong. So he thought it was all right. Everything was going good until he messed up and got the woman pregnant. Then God had to send his man to point out, and we know the story goes on, but God had to send his man to point out David's sin. You see, sometimes it's easy to see the sins of your brothers. Sometimes it's easy to see the sins of your sisters. But uh, look like when you're doing wrong, evangelist. Look like it's all right what I'm doing. I remember a preacher said, see, when I look at your sin, I give me a big old mirror. And I can see you real good. And I can call you out for your stuff. But when I begin to look at my own I try to get one of them little compact mirrors so I can't see me like I really am. But it's time to look at ourselves, thinking we right and we and we are so wrong. It's time to get your mind right. I don't know about you, but tonight I changed my mind. I changed my mind and decided that it's okay, Brother Terrence, to be a millionaire. I said, oh yes, it's okay if I get Donald Trump bank account. Because by the right, that's our money. You gotta change your mind. You gotta start thinking high. My God, you gotta think big. I changed my mind. I decided, yes, it's okay, Sister Bar, to get that job that I desire. You can go get your 
children of Israel were picking up everything when the folks started killing themselves, fighting among themselves. Yeah, they started getting the sports and picking up, skipping along. Woo! <laughs> 